guys. So I am going to introduce to you my favorite author of all time. And I'm going to do a little comparison own perspective and how our perspectives shape our poetry and things that we write. Um, I know that some of you may think that poetry is dumb and that it's not relevant. However, our perspective is definitely shaping anything that we read, write, see, watch, do. Um, you need to be aware of perspective regardless of if you ever write a poem ever again in your entire life. Uh, if I click on the name, I don't even know whose perspective it's coming from because it, that's how it's going to change what is said and how it's seen. So I'm going to show you guys um, two poems today written by um, authors that are dead. However, both of them had different perspectives. One actually influenced the other. Um, however, there were still critiques of what he did wrong. So I'm going to show you guys first. We're going to learn about Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman is a famous poet that lived in the 18, 1800s. He was born a little bit before the Civil War, and he died late in the 1890, or 18, I think it was 1891. And so he is known for writing poems about, about nature and things like that. If you've ever seen the movie The Notebook, which I love, he is um, the poet that Noah reads to Allie. And he reads to his dad to get rid of his stutter. Um, so Walt Whitman is this old white dude. He's very famous for writing a ton and ton, a ton of poems. And he is famous for not necessarily following the standard rules of poetry. He kind of wrote with his own way. And he wrote for the, the normal person, not for the person that necessarily went to school. Not necessarily like he wrote for the common person. That's what he's known for. If you click on this website, it tells you a lot about him. The other poem or poet that we are going to read or learn about is uh, Langston Hughes. There's a video here. Langston Hughes, I think I've talked about him quite a few times. He is my favorite poet of all time. Langston Hughes, I'll show you a little picture right here. I'll just go to Google. Langston Hughes is an African-American author who um, was born in 1902. And so they never lived in the same time period. I want that to be clear. Langston Hughes actually studied Walt Whitman and Walt Whitman influenced him as a poet. He had major respect for him. And so his response to this poem we're gonna read is not an insult, it's not to say, no, you bro. It's for him to say, I get what you're saying, but this is my perspective, okay? Let's go here. Langston Hughes, it tells you right here, you may have read um, Thank You, Ma'am, it was written by him. A few other things are written by him. Um, he is sometimes criticized for not being black enough, sometimes criticized for being too black. Um, as an African-American, especially during this time period, you are often critiqued for either being too black or not black enough. Um, and there's some evidence of whatever in this. So he was influenced by Walt Whitman along with some other um, poets as well. He wrote a Dream Deferred, which is another great story, great poem to read. It's about um, the American dream. And so there's some a bunch of poems here. Now he did die, when did he die? He died in 1967. So he died during the civil, civil rights movement. So he did not live a very long life. In fact, he actually um, preached a lot about civil rights and he was never able to see that fully become at least more adapt to what it is now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on, we have Buzz on here and Buzz. You have Walt Whitman. I want you to read a little bit about that. I want you to read his, I hear America singing. I'm going to just click on this. This video might end up being a longer video um, preview. Okay. So if you click on this, it should open it up in a brand new window. And that's because I want you to be able to look at these two poems at the same time here. I hear America singing, and this is Walt Whitman, and it's his opinion. So what you're going to do is you're going to read through this poem, and it tells you, you know, I, I hear all these people singing, and life is just so great, and yada, yada, yada. And he writes this poem, and you can see his perspective, right? He sees the world a certain way. And then the other thing is I want you to read the two poems by Langston Hughes. So Langston Hughes took Walt Whitman's poem, I Hear America Singing, which is all about... I hear like the voices of the United States, the people coming together, You're, like all these workers are working and they're working well, they're happy, blah, blah, blah. And Langston Hughes responds. And Langston Hughes says, 
I too sing America. I am the darker brother. They send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes, but I laugh and I eat well and grow strong. Tomorrow I'll be at the table when nobody comes. Nobody will dare say to me, eat in the kitchen then. Besides, they ha they'll see how beautiful I am and be ashamed. I too am America. So basically in Walt Whitman's poem, he says the carpenters are America. The workers are America. They're all singing, they're all happy. And we all know that that is not the case. Um, for people of this time, for the Asian Americans, for the Native Americans, for the, for the Irish immigrants at this time, for the African Americans, those slave relatives, life's not great. A lot of the people in this country, when Walt Whitman wrote this, were, had been slaves. The slaves were still around, like, slavery didn't end, like, that far away and so um he says oh, everyone's so happy and they're singing and stuff like that and langston hughes responds and he says they i'm america i'm part of this country as well and you know what i don't get to eat at the table with you guys they send me to the to eat in the kitchen i don't eat in the dining room i'm not presented as america um but he says and i love this part but i laugh and eat well and grow strong and it says, tomorrow, I'll be at the table. When company comes, nobody dare say to me, eat in the kitchen. I think that's extremely powerful because he's saying, like, Langston Hughes was not able to see the Buddha right act being, being done. He didn't see a lot of the civil rights work being done. Um, it wasn't until 19, I think, 1968 that the MLK was killed and then it brought a huge wave of stuff. Um, Langston Hughes was not able to see equality, okay? Um, and there's still question, I mean, civil rights were going on, but what he did say is, tomorrow I'll be at the table, meaning it's coming. I'm going to be treated fair. I'm going to be able to sit at that table. And he says, I too am America. And so I think this is just really powerful because the United States itself is a country of a bunch of immigrants, um, we were not white people were not the first people to, to be on this land. Um, African Americans oftentimes were brought here not out of choice, out of force. And so I think this is really powerful. In addition, I have also provided this Let America Be America Again poem. And I think this is an extreme, I'm not going to go into detail with this. This is an extremely powerful poem from an African American's perspective. As a white person, I can see this and understand it and appreciate it, but I can never truly put myself in those shoes. Um, I do not have that ability and I need to recognize that. But basically what I want you to do today is there's a few questions on here. Um, so I, have, I hear America singing, you have a little video about Langston Hughes, you have the I too, which is the response. You have a let America be America. And now that one is really powerful. Um, we're gonna read it in class, but I don't, I don't wanna put it all in this video. Okay, so you have an assignment, and the assignment is here. It says, first, I want you to learn who Walt Whitman and Langston Hughes are. Um, and then I want you to read the poems I provided. And then you're going to answer these questions. I need to change. I'm going to change this real quick. Who was Walt Whitman? So you're, that's when you tell me who Walt Whitman was. Who was Langston Hughes? And then how are the perspectives of Walt Whitman and Langston Hughes different? And why do they see the world differently? Now, they lived in different time periods. Like I said, Langston Hughes looked up to Walt Whitman. He doesn't have any disrespect towards him. He, in fact, he idolized him and thought he was like a great poet. Um, but they do see worlds differently based on who they are. And lastly, our last two are, I need to change the format here. Langston Hughes wrote, I too, responding to Walt Whitman, who he admired. Why did he draw attention to his perspective? So why did he say, Walt Whitman, you might see it this way, but I see it this way. And then I want you to answer this other part of the question. And do you think Walt would have been offended by Hughes' response? I know that you do not know who Walt Whitman and Langston Hughes are personally, but I want you to think as an artist, would I be okay with somebody seeing something different that maybe I didn't see myself? Because a lot of times, especially back then, maybe he was only centered on himself. And lastly, do you think race, economic background, or culture can change your perspective why or why not? I'm going to go ahead and change the settings on these. Um, but 
I really want you thinking today. This is one of my favorite lessons to go over and I wish, wish, wish that I could have each one of you in class so that we could have a group discussion on it. It um, makes my heart so happy whenever we do get to do it. It, um, it just makes me happy when we get to talk about these things. And I hate not being able to see you guys with that. Okay. So basically what I want you to know is that um, today I want you to go over these two artists. Remember to keep writing your poems. Um, the entire poetry portfolio is going to be due, I think, May 6th. Um, with our Poetry Slam in person on May 7th. I may try to do something virtual if anyone shows any interest in doing it. My suggestion for the poem for you guys to write today is your poem on your perspective of the world. Um, in addition, tomorrow we're going to be reading um, a newer poem that involves perspective as well. And so if you have questions, please reach out to me. Just know that I accept all of your opinions. I'm not judging you on your personal opinion. I just want to hear your thoughts. But I do want you to look at different perspectives and how race, religion, background, um, economic issues, culture changes, how we see things and how like that comes off to other people. Let me know if you have any questions. Email me. Have a great day, guys.